What is up guys, it's Cal, and in this video I'm going to be showing you all the Night Elf Heritage Armor quest line. The only requirements to do this is that you have to be a Night Elf and you have to be at least level 50. There's no reputation requirement or anything like that. And completing this quest line will get you a transmog armor set, a few transmog glaives as weapons, and a title. There's no achievements for the main race heritage quest lines, only the allied races, which is a bit strange, but anyways, uh, let's get started. So, when you meet the criteria, you can come to the northeast point of Stormwind near the embassy where you'll find Arkunaran Starshade, who is a warden, to begin her quest. For the purposes of this chain, and it just being easier to say, we're going to call her Nari because that is what her brother calls her, Lysander Starshade, who is here as well. Now, just a bit of background, Nari was actually an NPC in WoW back in vanilla. She was in Felwood in Shadowhold, which was an underground cave in Jadenar. Her quest is an escort quest, and it's the only thing you see of her. This quest was removed in Cataclysm, along with her NPC, where you never see her again. Until now, obviously. And then Lysander, her younger brother, who's an apprentice Night Elf Mage, he hasn't appeared in the game until now. They heard of this resurgence of demonic corruption, and they need your help. That's essentially the whole lore behind this questline. So they ask you to meet them along with Maeve Shadowsong in Felwood. Fastest way to get there is just to take the Hyjal portal nearby and fly over there. You meet up with them and then they reminisce about their dead mother and then both Nari and Lysander give you quests to kill 15 enemies in the area and then use an item on the satyrs. Once that's done you turn them both into Maeve and she gives you a quest where you have to follow her very close as she walks very slow into this underground tunnel, the exact cave where Nari was held pre-cataclysm. Halfway through the walk, she stops to mention the horrors that she remembers while being held captive here, and also while you're here, you need to click on like six braziers. Once you turn that quest in, you're tasked with killing this orc warlock, Cultus Nethus who really holds no significance, but once you kill him, Lord Helnareth reveals himself, and he is a fairly prominent demon in lore. He's the Natharzim ruler of the chaotic world Zora. This is a, a burning legion filled world that homes all of the dread steeds and wrath steeds that serve as the warlock mounts. In fact, Warlocks had a quest line back in Vanilla where they had to go through a long chain of events to get their level 60 mount, and at the end of these events, Lord Helnareth spawned since the warlock was taking his dreadsteed for himself. He then made a later appearance in Legion on the Broken Shores as a rare. But um, anyways, back to the quest line. Maeve gives you a quest where Lysander accompanies you and you have to kill a bunch of demons and cultists in the tunnel and then you shut down these four portals with Lysander. You then turn both those quests into Nari and Maeve. Nari then gives you a quest to defend Lysander as he tries to stop Helnareth. So you just kill demons that are running up to him so then he can finish his cast. So. Once this is done, a cutscene plays. Then you talk to Maeve to witness Lysander ascend to a protector, who are those guards that walk around Arnassus, or 
walked around Arnassus before it got burnt to the ground. The Nidals have a uh, very matriarchal culture. They worship a moon goddess, a loon. Um, only women can be wardens. Only women can be protectors. Until now, with Lysander, who's here to break the glass ceiling. Or something i don't know so you go through all of that lysander summons a portal to stormwind you take it and then you fly back to where you started and you turn the quest into lysander then you talk to maeve to fully complete the heritage armor quest line and the title you get is a prefix it's amashan which really doesn't have a 100 percent translation in darnasian shan means honored ama doesn't really mean anything some think it means like honored protector or whatever uh, but anyways you get this cool heritage armor set along with these glaives and that's it that is the nine of heritage armor sets i tried giving as much lore background as i could for it i mean the entire story is just about getting rid of these cultists in Velwood, where nari was originally captured but anyways guys that's the entire video if you enjoyed it feel free to leave a like on it you can sub to the channel for videos like this and i will see you all in the next video